freeze. Hi everyone, it's Benza here. What you are watching right now is a frozen frame from my latest game, Neon Highway. The reason I froze this particular frame is that I wanted to draw your attention to the reflections you can see here. Reflections make a scene more believable, therefore are very important. In this video I would like to show you how I made these reflections. I rather call this experience sharing instead of a tutorial, as it might happen that there are better solutions than what I used, but I am currently unaware of, and I do not want to teach something that might not be optimal or simply outdated. That being said, I hope the video will be interesting and useful. For Neon Highway, I used Unity's HD render pipeline because I really like the features what it provides. The same effects can be achieved in both universal and standard render pipelines, however, some functions will not be available and will require custom scripts or third-party assets. I personally have not tried ray tracing yet, but based on the comparisons I think it is evident that it is needed for more realistic reflections. Unity's HD render pipeline supports ray tracing, but since I have not tried it, I will not comment on it. However, I put a link in the description that describes how to get started with ray tracing in Unity HDRP if you are interested. The most common method for reflections is, to my knowledge, a reflection probe. A reflection probe creates a cube map image of its surroundings and uses that as the image that is being reflected by any reflective surface that is inside the probe's volume. Reflection probes can be real-time or big. Real-time means that during runtime, the probe will create a new cube map image at a certain time interval and applies it to the probe. This way, the reflections of moving objects will be included in the cube map. This is very resource-intensive, thus should be used sparingly. Reflection probes can also be baked. This means that only one cube map is created and that will be the reflection at all times. Multiple bakings can be done, and these can be replaced during runtime via script. For example, you can have a baked cube map for daytime reflections and another one for nighttime reflections. For a performance perspective, bake reflection probes are the go-to solution. In Neon Highway, I applied reflection probes to all the houses that were close to the road. To be able to bake the probes, they need to be in the scene, so I inserted the prefab into the scene, bake the probes, then use the prefab override save function, so now each prefab will contain the baked reflection probes. Let's say you want to have a large reflective surface, such as a lake. We can use a regular reflection probe, modify its size to match our surface, and see what happens. No matter whether the probe is real-time or baked, the reflections will not always align with the position of the object being reflected. We can try to add multiple smaller probes, but the effect will be worse as we now have a cut in the reflection. The solution is the planar reflection probe. This probe is used for flat, reflective surfaces, such as a lake, wet floor or a mirror, and it is always real-time. This reflection probe is only available in the HD render pipeline. To get the same effect in the standard and universal pipelines, you can either buy a third-party solution or try to code it yourself. Even though the planar reflection probe is real-time, it is not as resource-hungry as a regular reflection probe and I am getting good frame rates with it. If you look at this picture, you can see that not only the road is reflecting its environment, but also the top of the car. I could have done these reflections using the planar reflection probe, but I chose another method. It is called screen space reflection, or SSR for short, and the feature can be enabled in the lighting section of the HD render pipeline asset. As far as I know, it is not available in the universal render pipeline at all, but you can use it in the standard pipeline if you download Unity's post-processing stack. Screen space reflection is resource heavy, but I must confess I did not experience any FPS drop when I was testing it, so maybe I did something wrong or just did not have enough reflective surfaces to get a noticeable load. 
Screen Space Reflection reuses the screen space data to calculate reflections. It is both a blessing and a curse. While it enables very good quality reflections, it can only reflect what the camera sees. This can cut reflections in half, which looks really weird. For this reason, it is maybe not the best solution for larger surfaces. The reason I used it in Neon Highway were the ease of setup, the superior quality, and the fact that the camera was at a fixed position and both the reflective and reflected surfaces covered roughly half of the screen, so the reflections were always fully visible. SSR works on vertical objects to some extent, but I would use a planar reflection probe for that. SSR used to work only for opaque objects, but in the 10th edition of the HD render pipeline, it works for transparent surfaces as well, so it can be used for water surfaces, which usually have transparent materials. Thank you for watching. I hope that you found this video useful. You can check out my ish.io page to play now on highway for free. I put the link in the description. See you in the next video. Bye.